Hey guys, so for this video what we're going to be doing is we're going to be smoothing out your 3D prints now that we've put it together and it's all glued up. Ready? Let's go. Okay, so we're going to shift gears here a little bit. Um, I know we've been working with a thigh piece, but I finished that. I had to do some stuff with it. And so um, we're going to use a different example. I think it's better anyway. So after you've printed your 3D prints, um, you're going to have those seams, right? And with those seams, you need to fill those in and also smooth out your pieces. So what I have here is um, a Wolverine piece um, that, I, that I just put, put blue on it just so we can have some color on it. Now, you can definitely um, put filler primer on it, sand it down, and then paint it. Um, but you're still going to see the lines. So this one has filler primer on it, and if you guys can see, you still can see the layer lines. You can see it uh, vertically, but I had, had to fix the model for that. But you can also see it horizontally, which are the layer lines. Okay, now if you guys look, I printed the Wolverine piece, the claws, too small, <laughs> so like, like baby ones. But if you look at this one, it's smooth, okay? So I will teach you guys how to do that. I hate sanding. So what I'm going to teach you right now is a method that I use which requires minimal sanding. Okay, so this method I use fiberglass resin. All right. Now, you can use either this or XCC3D. Um, both are resins, so they harden. Um, one thing that I, main reason why I use this is because it's fast and I can just put it on, forget about it, and go do other stuff while it's working. I don't have to sit there and sand all day long. I have two kids, I have a full-time job, and so I don't have time to sit there and sand. Anyway, also, PLA doesn't like moisture. What the resins do is it protects your, your, your prints from, from the moisture in the air. Also, it has adhesive properties, which if, if, when, when you glue things together, it'll help with that. So you have a stronger bond. And third, it fills in everything perfectly. It, 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 it just makes life so much easier. Then you sit there, sand, and then you use Bondo, you know, spot gla you know, glazing spot putty, which we're also gonna be using, by the way. So that's why I use um, either fiberglass resin or XCC3D. XCC3D is 30 bucks for this big one. Um, it's $11, I believe, or, or 15 for the fiberglass resin, which is like twice the amount of that. So it's up to you. Um, it's really up to preference. This is toxic. <laughs> it smells really, really bad. Um, this one has like damn near no fumes. I can use this stuff inside the house. Okay. Okay. So here's how you do it. You just take your fiberglass resin. Um, a little goes a long way. All right. So what you're going to do is you're just going to pour a little bit of it in like a mixing cup and you're going to mix it. So take one of these, one of these and like a plastic spoon or uh, a popsicle stick, whatever, and then mix it together. Um, you're going to put this along with this because if you don't, it's not going to harden. Okay. The directions are on here. Uh, I don't really have like a ratio, like, so XCC3D is two to one. This doesn't have an exact science of, of ratio. So all you gotta do is just kind of, the more you work with it, the more you'll see and, and figure out, all right, I need this many drops for, for this much, okay? And again, a little goes a long, long way. So all you're gonna do is you're gonna take your brush, this one's hard, so we're gonna get another one. I'll just use this small one for per, uh, example purposes. You just take a little bit, like a dab, and you're going to put a thin layer on your piece, okay? Thin layer, very thin, okay? You're probably wondering why I'm not showing you this um, right now because I have to wear 
this. You have to, have to, have to, have to wear this if you're working with a fiberglass resin. Have to. I just got a message if you guys heard that little vibration or whatever. Anyway, you have to wear this. If you don't wear this, it's bad juju. Okay? Wear a respirator. Anyway, so a thin layer on your, uh, will coat your prints and then it'll even it out. It'll even out the surface. I'll show you guys a finished product here in a little bit. It's, it's drying outside. So um, let me use it on a print right now just so you guys can see how small and, and how little of a coat you'll need for this. Okay? Okay, so I'm going to show you guys how to put this on your pieces. Here, make sure you get your, um, your gloves here. This is another failed print. It's like really small, so I'm just going to use it on this just to show you guys um, how to how to coat it. Okay, so this is printed in 0.2 mil layer height, and I hope you guys can hear it because I have the respirator on. So we're just going to take your fiberglass resin. Again, a little, 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 little goes a long way. That's enough because it's a small piece, so I'm just going to use a little bit. And then you're going to put your drops, your hardener, and we're going to put one, two, three drops. That's it. That's the ratio that I'm going to use for this one. Okay. Close it up because the fumes are very toxic. Take your brush. Make sure you mix it well. A little goes a long way. You will see what I mean by that. So, we're going to take this, okay? See, that's a lot. <laughs> I'm just going to get the excess off right there. And we're just going to coat it just like that. See, that's a lot. That is a lot, lot, lot. Okay? So what this is going to do is it's going to even out. Okay, make sure you get, you don't want to glob it because the gloves will dry and it's going to be a pain to sand. Okay. And that's all you're going to do. See, look, a little goes a long way. Make sure there's a, there's a lot on your brush. And that's all you're going to do. See, it's already evening out on this side. I was painting outside, that's why I decided silver. I was painting the Wolverine claws. You can get the Wolverine claws from me. Uh, make sure you join us on our Facebook group, 3D Printed Armor. I'll tell you guys about that here again in a second. You see that? That was a big glob that I had to brush off. Thin coat, you guys. Thin coat. You don't need it to be thick. It'll even out. And if you don't put enough, you can always just add more. Okay? And that's it. That's how you do it. Easy enough, right? Okay, so after I um, put the fiberglass resin on this piece, this is that same piece, what I've done is I've primed it. And I didn't sand or anything the, uh, I didn't sand or the, sand the uh, fiberglass resin or anything. And you guys can see how smooth that is. Right? I told you, minimal sanding. I hate sanding, sanding sucks, right? So, um, you still could sand this, uh, start with like a 200 grit, and then work your way up to 400, then 800, um, and you guys could get an, an even smoother finish. So, that's that. And just to show you, um, that Wolverine piece that I showed you earlier, I painted it black because black shows everything. And as you guys can see, also no sanding, by the way. I just fiberglass resin and I primed it and I painted it. So as you guys can see, it turned out pretty damn good. I like it. Um, so yeah, that's the, that's the process that I use. And so um, just to show you guys uh, finished products, okay? Now here is the uh, forearm piece for the Wolverine, the Battle Arbor Wolverine that I have. Um, 
I am an idiot, and I didn't file the brim on the prints, and so I have this bump on the seams right here, and so I have to, it's easy enough fix, just take a rotary tool and um, get it down and then get some spot putty to fill it in, but I opened this up because uh, it was too small, like if I put it, uh, it, it'll, it, it fits my forearm perfectly, but I have a wide hand compared to my little tiny baby wrist <laughs> and so um, I open this up so when I put it on it, it's easier uh, so anyway the fiberglass resin filled in the seam right here along the edges um, and it's also going to help keep this together for uh, for like I said it has adhesive purposes and so it has a nice smooth finish what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm still going to sand this I'm going to take about a hundred grit sandpaper this is a sanding sponge um, I'm going to take some sandpaper, some 120, and then move my way up to 400, and then smooth it out uh, to get an even nicer finish. As, I don't know if you guys can see, but there's a, uh, some globs on there. I told you guys to, to be careful. I wasn't careful with it. Um, sometimes you miss it, sometimes you don't. But there, fiberglass resin is easy to sand, so you can always just sand those down. But yeah, um, fiber, that's how you smooth out. Your, your pieces, that's how you smooth out your pieces. I, I cut it, it was just a bad shot. <laughs> uh, and so, fiberglass resin, like I said, fills in the gaps and, and the seams right there, and it makes it so much easier. After this, uh, I'm gonna show you, um, I'm gonna sand down the seams, and I'm gonna prime it, and I'm gonna show you what to do with the little bumps and little, like, divots and stuff. We're gonna fill those in with Bondo Glaze and Spot Putty, and then we're gonna prime and sand it and prime it again and then that way you have a nice uh, smooth surface. So now that we've primed this and we've coated it with uh, the fiberglass resin, I haven't sanded this or anything. Um, this is actually a really, really poor job of, of doing something, but I wanted to show you guys for video purposes. So in the seam, it didn't fill in completely, which is okay. See you guys, look, see right there, okay? Which is okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some Bondo Glaze and Spot Putty this stuff right here and we're just gonna fill those in and then we're gonna sand them down and that's how you're gonna make it nice nice and even so you can hide the seams so the rest of the piece you can't really see the seam right but here you can so we're just gonna take some of this and put it on there and I'll show you guys how to do that right now okay so what you're gonna use are one of these spreaders um, I got these at Home Depot. They come in a pack of three and I just cut them up. Um, all you're gonna do is you're gonna take this. It's a really, really small amount. Um, I guess, I'm, I think I'm gonna fill in this little part right here too where it didn't have much of a, a fill. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it in and I'm gonna just coat it right there. Hope you guys can see. Okay, after you coat it, you guys can see my daughter. That's my little girl. I hope she's not distracting you. She's gonna fill in those little cracks. Lana June. And that's what you're gonna and that's how you're gonna do it. See after that you're just gonna let that dry. And then after it dries, you're gonna sand it down with uh Start with 100 grit sandpaper, and then we're gonna go up to 400, and then you're gonna smooth it in. Grrr. All right, so what I've done is I've finished putting the Bondo Blazing Spot Putty along the cracks in the seams, and now I'm gonna take some 120 grit sandpaper, and I'm just gonna sand these down, then go up to 400 and smooth it out, and then I'm gonna prime it again to see if I missed anything. Then after that, if there's any more cracks and that that I missed, we're gonna fill it again with uh, Bondo Glaze and Spot Body if I can find it. And then we're just gonna repeat the process until, until it's smooth. So I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna show you guys how it's done, uh, what it looks like here in a little bit. Okay, so it's done. Uh, the seams filled in. You can see, if you guys can see it, it's, it, it's discolored but that's because the primer, for some reason, when it hits the Bondo Blades and Spot Putty, it doesn't color the same. Uh, it, it, it comes out as a, a, a lighter, um, 
lighter tone for some reason on some parts. But yeah, for the most part, it's smoothed out. It looks, it looks good. The seams are hidden and this is ready for paint. So that's what we're going to be covering in the next video. Uh, so that's it. So that's it. Thanks guys for watching. I appreciate it. The next video is going to be on painting. Um, if you guys like the tutorial videos, give me a thumbs up down below. Um, also subscribe to my channel. And if you guys um, want to know what materials I use in the entire process, the links to everything is down below. Also, don't forget to join us in our Facebook group called 3D Printed Armor. We all hang out, post stuff like this and our makes and stuff like that. So I'll catch you guys there and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.